This is Lisa Holloway. Lisa has early onset of Parkinson's. I'd like her to tell you a little bit about her story. Hi, my name is Lisa Holloway. I'm a Parkinson's fighter. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's about nine years ago after the birth of my son. And it changed my life. I, I was married for 25 years and my marriage then weathered the Parkinson's diagnosis. And um, Parkinson's is, is, is very challenging. It's like a lot of people see me and they think, well, you look all right. Because they'll see me when I'm not having tremors. But they don't understand that I can barely walk. I can't hold anything. I can't wash dishes. I can't comb my own hair. I can't tie my shoes sometimes, and somebody always has to do everything for me. So my life I has it flipped upside down. I went from a dynamic super mom, I was a cheer mom, PTA mom, and going to a, a, a prestigious university, and that all just fell away by the wayside with Parkinson's. But Parkinson's has made me a stronger person. You have Parkinson's. You are living today in Los Angeles, and you said your life has changed. You're living in a one-bedroom apartment. Your daughter is taking care of you. At the same time, she's basically your caregiver. What do you need today? You put up a GoFundMe page. What do you need from us? Because we don't want to see you go homeless. Well, I need money for my rent and stability so I can be able to have this surgery and my daughter will be able to stay here and take care for me. I have a degenerative arthritis in my hip and I need to have hip replacement surgery because I'm, 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 I'm immobile right now. I really need to be in a wheelchair and I'm not in one. I'm on a walker and I'm barely I'm getting around. So I also saw that you needed a Lulu bed on that. Yes, a bed is the most important thing to a person with Parkinson's. Being comfortable, you need to have certain types of sheets, silk sheets, because you get tangled up in your sheets at night and you need to have a good night's sleep because you have sleep disturbances because of the Parkinson's. What else does Parkinson's do to your body? Well, Parkinson's, it's, it's a neurological disorder. It's a degenerative disorder, so it gets worse. And what it does is it, it works on your balance, you have stiffness, you can't move, you just, and you have uh, tremors in your body where you can't hold on to anything, like nothing is stable. So imagine you being an adult and then feeling like a newborn baby because nothing is, unsta nothing is stable. It's extremely difficult for me. That's the one thing about being becoming a disabled person and a person with Parkinson's, especially as you're like you're walking and your balance is so important. And finding a place for you to live that's safe and easy for you to get into, it's kind of difficult in LA with the current rental situation. So I live in an apartment that is upstairs and I have to walk downstairs and up them if I want to get in and out. With the separation of my marriage, it's everything just, I lost everything and I'm starting over. I'm on a, a SSI, which is the lowest disability you possibly can get in the state of California. And I'm, it's like, because I um, was a stay-at-home mom and I returned back to school and I went to a university for four years before I was disabled, I didn't know this, that you you will not be, if you don't work four years before your disability, you will not get um, um, Social Security disability insurance. You will get SSI. I wasn't aware of that because I didn't think I would get sick, but here I am. How are you getting by? Well, I'm getting by because of my daughter. My daughter is my superhero. She is my legs. She does everything for me. We don't have a car. She walks everywhere and she does everything for me. So if it was not for my daughter, I would not be making it. You had indicated you are a survivor, a Parkinson's survivor. Yes, I'm a fighter, I'm fighting it. I realized that um, when I was in Atlanta, I didn't know what was wrong with me and I was desperate, I was crying and I, I was just out of control and this nurse looked at me and she said, if you don't get it together, you're going to die. And I know that seems mean, but it wasn't. She said it. She was like, 
no matter what is going on with you, you need to get it together. You need to fight for yourself. You need to fight for you, fight for your kids, and fight for yourself. So that's what I've been doing. Okay. Lisa does have the GoFundMe page, and I'd like everyone that is looking at this to learn a little bit about her. She will also be doing some things in the future so people can be aware of Parkinson's, which usually doesn't hit somebody that's 41, that doesn't hit a black woman, and that doesn't hit a woman. It usually is with older white men. So let's get this ball rolling so we can help Lisa.